every 20 minutes. It's your statewide Alabama weathercast. On this Monday evening, let's kick it off with our SkyCam network. Love these new cameras. We'll begin with the camera at Sheehaw State Park, Alabama's highest point. It's only 74 degrees. The sky cloudy. They have seen rain at times over East Alabama today. Here's a look at the Montgomery Sky Cam. This is coming from Patterson Field, the Alabama Public Television Tower there. The sky mostly cloudy. We'll keep on going as we look around the state of Alabama today. This is in Huntsville, up in the Tennessee Valley. That's coming from Montesano Mountain. They're at 76, 76 degrees. That's a good reading for mid-August. And down south, look at the Gulf Coast. Mobile Bay down here, flat as a pancake. We've got 85 degrees. The sky is mostly cloudy, and some fairly big storms are currently in progress over parts of Mobile Bay. Here's the deal today. We have this broad upper low that's south of the Gulf Coast. This is not a tropical system, but this is drifting north, and this will likely bring an increase in the number of showers and thunderstorms, especially to the southern half of the state tonight, and then statewide tomorrow as moisture levels gradually increase. On the radar today, the bulk of the showers over the eastern and southern counties of the state. Nothing severe, but a few heavy downpours in progress. For the northern half of the state, the bulk of the showers along and east of I-65. And keep in mind today, they're moving off to the west on top of that broad low in the Gulf of Mexico. Down south, we have showers and thunderstorms in progress now coming into Mobile Bay off the eastern shore. Uh, Fair Hope down to Point Clear, almost down to Gulf Shores and Fort Morgan. That will likely cross over into Dolphin Island and Mobile County soon. Nothing severe, a lot of thunder, lightning, some pretty ominous shelf clouds. Also, showers and storms in progress in parts of the Panhandle along Interstate 10 today. Here's the big picture. And again, shower chances will stay elevated tomorrow and most likely Wednesday. Still not raining everywhere, not raining all day, but a decent chance you'll see a shower or storm from time to time. Temperatures are mostly in the 80s today. We have 87 in Huntsville, Birmingham at 88, only 79 for Auburn, barely out of the 70s for Alexander City and Anniston, uh, Andalusia and Thomasville, some of the hot spots here at 90, Demopolis 91, Mobile coming in at 90 this afternoon. Here's what we're watching. Showers and thunderstorms will likely increase in coverage tomorrow and Wednesday. Temperatures because of that will stay below average. And a new tropical storm is formed off of the Atlantic. That is Tropical Storm Aaron. Computer modeling overnight tonight. Uh, we'll have showers and storms about maybe tomorrow morning. This is tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. The better chance of showers early in the day across the southern two-thirds of the state. During the day, showers and storms gradually feeding north. That's 3 o'clock. And we stress... This is computer model output. The radar will not look exactly like this, but maybe something like that. And again, we'll have showers around tomorrow night into Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock, and this is Wednesday afternoon. The more widespread showers and storms roughly from 12 noon until 12 midnight. So here's a look at rain for the next seven days. Most spots about one inch on an average basis. Your number could be different because of the random scattered nature of showers and storms this time of the year. Off in the tropics, here's a look at Aaron. This is a long way out there. This is in the eastern Atlantic, closer to Africa than North America. Top winds are currently 45 miles per hour. This is moving off to the uh, west at 21 miles per hour. And this is the new track just in from the National Hurricane Center. There's a chance this easily becomes the first hurricane of the season. And most likely this becomes a major hurricane, a Category 3, by Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock, well north of the Leeward Islands, north of Puerto Rico. There is a weakness in the upper ridge north of the system that will likely turn this thing north, northeast out to land. At this point, we see no threat to the Gulf and probably no threat to the east coast of the United States. For the northern half of the state, tomorrow numerous showers and storms about with a high at 88, same thing on Wednesday. Showers and storms thinning out by the end of this week, highs getting back in the low 90s by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Pretty much the same deal for the southern half of the state, a number of showers and storms around tomorrow and Wednesday, not raining all day. Showers becoming fewer in number late this week with highs getting in the low, maybe mid-90s by Saturday, Sunday and on Monday.